Hello everyone, I'm the feral Daryl that plays and today I hit my 100 day login streak in Overlook Bay 2. So in this video today we will be doing an inventory reveal of what I've gotten in Overlook Bay 2 in 100 days. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So one cool thing to point out, when you have over a 5 day login streak in Overlook Bay and you type in the chat, it shows the number of days login in the actual chat, like a chat tag. And now that I have 100, we can see the 100 day chat tag as well. So that's pretty much the, the best part about the 100 day login streak. And if you were here in the last video, now it's time to start the inventory reveal. You guys saw that I made two Radiant Midnight Unicorns. So I thought the coolest thing to do today was to start off by making a Radiant Flaming Cow. The Flaming Cow was the first Wishing Well pet in Overlook Bay 2, which came out in the beta of the game. And it was orange and black. And the Radiant version is this awesome icy blue and black. I love it so much. To me, this is my favorite Radiant pet in the entire game and I am so so happy that I finally got one now. I did not get any of them myself by actually wishing in the wishing well. I had to trade for all of them and then raise all of them but I am so happy that I did because look at this it looks so cute. Flaming cow Oh, I love it so much. And now, because I did that, I also got enough XP in the season pass to get the festive firefly. Perfect for Christmas time. This is the cutest pet ever. The festive firefly. It is definitely better than the pet in season one of the season pass. But I do love them all, and I don't have that much bias towards them. But let's go ahead and make another radiant pet. This one is the Zombear. Now, the Zombear is an epic pet from the Halloween event. It was not from the pet pods, so that means it is worth a lot more than just the average pet pod pets because most people spent all of their Halloween currency on the pet pods and I did the opposite. I spent most of my Halloween currency on the other pets that were for sale that were not inside of the pet pods. So this one, the Zombear, I bought three of them. This was an epic rarity and I combined it to make a neon pet and this is what it looks like, the brand new Radiant pet for the Zombear. I love it so much, but we're not done there. We still got a few more. We are making the Radiant Pet for the Manned Wolf and the Werewolf as well, starting with the Werewolf right now. Similarly to the Zombear, the Werewolf Pet was found in the Halloween event. Also was not a part of the Halloween Pet Pods, but instead we could buy separately with the Halloween currency as well. So this is what it looks like. Oh my goodness, I love it so, so much. Uh, I love the color palette to it. The eyes are so cute red. And I do love the like slime looking glow behind it as well. I love it so much. But I do love making these radiant pets. This is only like the third or fourth, uh, fourth radiant pet I've ever made. I've made the two Midnight Unicorns. Um, or fifth, the two Midnight Unicorns, the Flaming Cow, the last pet, and now this pet. And lastly, we have the Manned Wolf pet. This is also, once again, the third, I think there was four pets we could buy for currency, for Halloween currency. And this is the third that I'm making Radiant today. The other one I have, I think it's like the teddy bear looking one. I forgot the name of it. But this one, the Man Wolf right here, its ears are purple, its tail is purple, and its back has some purple on it as well. I love it so much. I do think my favorite is still the Flaming Cow and second favorite, the Midnight Unicorn, but as expected, because those are higher rarities than the rest of them. But this one's so cute. It, like the color um, of, the sh of the Radiant Shine looks very crystally, and I think that looks great in Overlook Bay 2, especially since we have the awesome mines and the cool crystal theme as well. I also love the winter weather in Overlook Bay 2 as well. It looks so, so fantastic. So before we do the rest of our inventory, let's go ahead and show my farm in Overlook Bay 2. Now, my house is the Yacht House. I have not decorated it or anything, but the cool thing about the Yacht House is it comes with this awesome backyard as well. And in my backyard, I have all peaches and all sunflowers, all the spots and all the premium paid spots as well. 
So let's go ahead and start going through my inventory. These are all my good pets. I do have a lot of Halloween pet pods left over. I have two fruit bats, so I'm getting ready to make a radiant pretty soon. I just need one more. I have a beta frog, pastel unicorn, galactic dragon. I have uh, two radiant midnight unicorns along with the other radiants I just made. I have two baticorns. I have three candy corns, which I could also make a radiant. Three pump kitties, which I will make a radiant someday. Um, I just have some other random epic pets, and the wizard's teddy is the one I was talking about earlier. Uh, it was also a part, or not a part of the Halloween pet pods, and we could just buy individually. And these are just the random pets I have at the bottom. I'm not too loaded on pets. I have 41 out of 45 found. I have all six commons, all seven uncommons, all six of the rare pets, all seven of the epics, and I have all seven of the legendaries as well. It's just three divines I'm missing and one unique pet I am missing. But the beetle pet, uh, by the time this video comes out, because this video was pre-recorded, I will have the beetle pet. The beetle pet is obtained through the beetle backpack UGC. And the divine pets that I don't have is the cloudy alicorn from the fortune pet pod, because that's pretty hard to get. The slime dragon, which is found from the wishing well. And the lightning dragon, which is found from the basic pet pods. I just haven't spent the time to open that many regular pet pods because I'd rather spend my gems on other things or even save it for the future. These are my foods, my gizmo tabs. Um, I got every single pail from the Halloween update and the gifts don't really count because I just keep opening them constantly. Yeah, this is the best pail right here. It looks like a little bat. Um, the candy cannon is also pretty cool. Every single person who played the Halloween event got a free candy cannon. Thank you, Wonderwork Studio, for giving us that. The graveyard pail, which is the best pail for a while in the Halloween update until they made the unique one. Um, I do have 20 of the AFK plushie as well. And then I have all the rest of the pails, which I already said. Now, the tools, I have the Robux fishing rod. I have the Robux pickaxe. I do have the Robux shovel, but I gave it out to a friend to lend it to them. Cars, this is where it gets complicated. I have a lot of cars. I have a lot of personal vehicles, a lot of regular cars, but technically in my journal, I don't have too much. I am missing quite a bit of them. Um, and that is kind of my fault because I haven't spent all the gems necessary to actually buy them from the car dealership shop because there are the personal vehicle crates in the car dealership and there are also the regular cars to buy in the car dealership as well and I have not bought any of them. For the vehicles in my inventory though, I have this one, the Wave Hoverboard, I think it's called the Wave Hoverboard. Um, I got it from the Fishing Pass level 50. The Dolly Scooter is my rarest one in my opinion. The Dolly Scooter was the best personal vehicle from the OG vehicle crates. Um, that one was from the fishing tournament. The candy corn moped is probably my second most rare personal vehicle. The candy corn moped was a VIP exclusive item or a VIP exclusive car to buy in the Halloween update. The UFO also looks pretty cool. The UFO is from the AFK rewards and I love it so much. Just like how I love that cauldron, the witch's cauldron. I do have some other pretty cool personal vehicles and vehicles. I'm not going to show them all. I'm just going to show my favorite. This one right here, it's like a horse carriage. I really like it. All spooky looking. Uh, the Cornucopia Mobile. I got it a few days ago, the day it came out in the season pass. Now, the driving is super broken, which you just saw. I just ran over that bench like it didn't even exist. And the light pole, it's pretty crazy. But I love crazy. I love that car so much. Um, I do have some other cool ones like the monster truck. I love these Halloween vehicles. Just like in the original Overlook Bay. I think the Halloween vehicles are the best. I absolutely love them. And they are my favorite. So for the journal, I have 38 out of 55 vehicles. Which is not great. Mostly the ones that I'm missing are just the basic ones to buy in the car dealership, which I'll get to eventually. Just like my pet collection, I just gotta spin the gems to actually buy them. So I will in the future, not now, but I will eventually complete my pet and my vehicle index sometime in the future. Um, anyways, for Divines, I don't have the, um, the minecart one, because that is from getting level 50 
in um, the mining pass, and I just haven't really spent the time to do that. I'd rather fish instead of mine, so that's just my logic there. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I enjoyed making this video, and comment in the comment section below what your login streak is in Overlook Bay 2. I am super, super curious. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you later on. Goodbye.